Olympic snowboard champion Kelly Clark planned her suicide, but she's going to share her testimony. She shares how she felt after reaching her pinnacle of her success. The moment, though, that changed everything in her life. Can you relate to that? Maybe you can relate to this. Do you have one of those moments? Well, you'll find out when she shares hers, and we want to hear from you if you're having those moments, too. As a matter of fact, check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. John, take us to the Olympics. Listen, we're going to listen to Kelly Clark as she shares her story. This is a successful three-time medalist, uh, Olympian with a long history of, of successful victories. But it just, you got to hear her story because it's absolutely amazing. In fact, let's go there now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New York's JFK International Airport for the local time is 6.30 a.m. We will be taxiing for a few moments, so please remain seated with your seatbelts being fastened to the My name is Kelly Clark, and I'm a professional snowboarder. Kelly goes bigger than a lot of guys in the half pipe. She goes bigger than I go in the half pipe, that's for sure. Whenever I watch Kelly and she's going like as big as the dudes, you know, I'm just like, dude, that chick is awesome. Probably at times she goes bigger than me. Off the record, of course. Please stay in your seat until the captain turns off the seatbelt sign. Red eye flight, but I never fell asleep last night. And everything's new and everything glows here brighter than TV. But I can taste it, I can touch it, I can feel it. Olympics are definitely the uh, pinnacle of a competitive snowboarder's career. I won the Olympics when I was 18 in 2002 in Salt Lake City. You know you've made it when. <laughs> I was living the dream, you know, every, every kid that dreams about being a pro snowboarder, I had it made. On the flip side of it, on the inside, I wasn't really satisfied because no matter what I did, nothing was fulfilling me, even all the success that I could strive for. Um, and I think about two years went by and I was at my first event in Utah. I was in my hotel room that morning and I was just writing in my journal and I was kind of, I was kind of at the end of it. I was kind of done and I was writing about, you know, if I, if I didn't wake up tomorrow, like, I was fine with that. And I didn't think anybody cared about me. And I didn't think anybody would care if I didn't wake up tomorrow. And I just thought, was, was writing about how if this was what life was, like, if that's what it was, like, I was done with life. And that same day, you know, I had qualifiers for some event, and, um, you know, so I go out and do my snowboard thing, and it's going really well. This girl came down, because she had crashed twice, and her friend was like, hey, it's all right, God still loves you. Just hearing that statement gave me this hope that, like, God loves you. Maybe God loves me. That's something. I found out the girl who had made the comment was staying in my hotel. So I went to her hotel room, knocked on the door, and I said, hey, my name's Kelly. I think you might be a Christian, and I think you need to tell me about God. I thought being a Christian was about going to church, and I thought it was about following rules, and I thought it was about being good all the time. And she's like, hey, you know, it's about relationship. It's not about religion. I took the next, you know, four or five months just kind of like, hey, God, like, Show me that you're real. This is something that's amazing, but I need to know that I know that I know. And sure enough, God met me over the next, you know, four or five months. I was surrounded by people who could help me understand, you know, who God was and how it looked to have a relationship with Him. Before I became a Christian, my whole life was snowboarding. I, you know, I was Kelly Clark, pro snowboarder, and snowboarding was a, a really huge part of my identity. It was what I pulled from for my self-worth, and um, it's a pretty fragile thing to have your identity in. Up until that point in my life, my identity was just in my snowboarding, and it just began to shift 
you know, to, to being loved and having that be my identity. You know, you can say my identity is in, in Jesus and as a daughter of God and all this different stuff, but I just think the simplest way I can understand it is that, like, I'm loved and that I know that I know that I know. That's such an awesome testimony. Maybe that's you. Maybe you're at that point and you're thinking, nobody loves me. God doesn't know I exist. You've been thinking about ending it. You've been pondering ways to, to just stop breathing, stop your heart from, from being another beat. But you just found out that God loves you. God's got a plan for your life. This is such an important moment. That's why you know, being part of the community and part of the tribe, we can do this together. You're not alone. It's us together. It's no longer me. It's we. We're walking this out together in Jesus Christ. Listen, God loves you. God's got a plan for your life. And just like Kelly Clark, all you got to do is just reach out to him and say, Lord, I want you. Just like Kelly Clark, I want you. Just like Greg and like John and everybody that's here in the, all of our community that knows Christ, you can know him. You can make him the Lord of your life. You know, we shared our stories, how, how we were like Kelly Clark before she met God, that we got our stories, we shared it. But we also share how we found God and how it changed our life, how he changed our life, like, like her life has changed. And we share that at meetmyfather.org. Meet my father, you've got to meet him. It's gonna bless your heart when you go there and just share with us, share with us your testimony. Let us know if this is you, you know, and you've had that experience and now you're walking with Christ just like Kelly is, like John is, like I am, and like so many in our communities walking with Christ. Share your testimony below. Write us, call us, let us know. It gets, it's encouragement because you overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. I'm your host, Greg Lancaster, and we're so glad that you've joined us. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com. I've enjoyed our time together. God bless.